Lots of finance YouTubers say that YouTube is one of the best side hustles out there. And if you're anything like me, you're wondering how much does YouTube actually pay these finance YouTubers? Some of the top finance YouTubers have actually shown exactly how much they're getting paid or how much they've made over the lifetime of their channel. But just how much could you expect to be making if you started making videos on YouTube and you didn't have that big following like those big YouTubers do? Before we start, I do want to say that this video isn't meant to brag or to show off. It's meant to motivate and inspire you guys to start your own YouTube channels and to show in clear transparency how much YouTube ad revenue is actually paying me. So if you're interested in seeing how much I make with around 2,000 subscribers, then be sure to hit the like button and let's dive right in. I uploaded the first video to this channel on April 15th of 2021. Over the next few months, I uploaded a total of five videos to this channel before I took a long break because I just didn't have time for it. I was getting overwhelmed with my main job and I had to put my priority there. At that time, with those five videos on my channel, I was getting a very low amount of views, maybe 10 views per day if I was lucky, and I was somewhere around 40 or 50 subscribers. I knew that when I was first starting YouTube, it wasn't just gonna blast off and I wasn't just gonna get a bunch of subscribers right away. It's a process, it takes time, your content gets better as you continue to upload and you get more followers as you keep doing it. So when I quit my job, I started trying the alternative income streams that I had wanted to try for so long and I decided to jump back into my passion for making YouTube videos. I began with my print on demand series and then I actually made my first print on demand video, my one week experience, which at first got absolutely no views. But around three months after having posted that video, it started to gain some traction out of absolutely nowhere. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know why the YouTube algorithm decided to bless me, but it started getting some views and I started gaining some following. Around the same time, I posted my one month print on demand experience video and that video was actually piggybacking off of that one week experience video and so it was getting traction right away. These two videos started to get some decent traction on YouTube and because of that, my channel began to grow. I'll put up some images here so you can see, but my channel really didn't have a lot of traction before that and now ever since then, I'm getting some consistent views and consistent subscribers. It took me over a year to get to those milestones that allow for monetization, but I think if I had been posting consistently and I didn't stop for that long period of time, I could have gotten there a lot sooner. So if you're planning to start your own YouTube channel or you already are and you're looking to grow, then make sure that you're posting videos consistently. Start to increase your quality over time. You'll start to get better as you keep doing it consistently and let your following know when you're planning on posting. By consistently uploading to YouTube, not only are you having more videos for people to find, more videos for the YouTube algorithm to push out, but your following will know that you're consistently uploading, so you're giving them more reason to stick around and watch your videos. Hopefully, my channel continues to grow because I will definitely continue posting on this channel talking about my journey, talking about the side hustles that I'm trying, and showing with clear transparency exactly what works and what doesn't work for me. So if you're interested in watching that or following along with my journey, then be sure to subscribe and thank you to all you guys who have already subscribed. To actually get monetized on YouTube, you need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the last 365 days. On my channel, for me, I actually hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone first, and it took me around two or three weeks to hit that 4,000 watch hour milestone next. I think I was around 1.5 thousand subscribers when I hit that 4,000 watch hour milestone, but I was just happy that I finally hit it. Once your channel passes these milestones, you'll get an email from YouTube saying that you're ready to be monetized, that you can be partnered with YouTube, and the process for that is actually pretty simple. The first step in partnering with YouTube is to accept all their terms and their conditions. The second step is to link your Google AdSense account and if you don't have one, you'll have to create one and then you'll link it. You'll have to agree to some of those terms and conditions, obviously put in some of your own personal information. But once you do that, Google's gonna have to take some time to review your AdSense account and make sure that everything is good and they'll check you off. This leads us into our third step in order to be partnered with YouTube, which you don't actually have to do anything here. It's gonna happen automatically right after your Google AdSense gets approved. And what's gonna happen is YouTube's gonna take some time to review your channel, see what kind of videos you're making, see if your content is eligible for being partnered, and if everything's good, everything's green and cleared, you're gonna be approved to be partnered with YouTube. Once you're approved and you're finally a YouTube partner, you can go ahead and turn on monetization, which will actually allow you to start making money from the ads on your videos. Being a YouTube partner doesn't stop there. You actually have quite a lot of other opportunities once you get partnered. This includes channel memberships and being supers. 
Supers is great for those of you who plan on live streaming because it actually allows your viewers to have exclusive content such as super stickers or just have their name stand out from the crowd. I don't currently plan on live streaming and I don't live stream right now so I didn't enable that function but there's also channel memberships which can give your viewers more exclusive content and provide you with a little bit extra monthly revenue. Now we're getting to the part of the video that everyone's been waiting for. This is the result. This is how much I've made in the last eight days, or I guess in the first eight days of being monetized on YouTube. Let's not wait any longer. Let's dive in and start talking about the numbers. In the last eight days, my average CPM is $30.89, but this is the collective. This is what YouTube and I get paid together. So my cut is the RPM, which was $11.24 average per thousand views per day. And in total over the last eight days, I've made $221.96. This comes out to be an average of $27.74 per day. This is actually really exciting because that's $220 in eight days and my channel is still small. So hopefully my channel will continue to grow and this number will continue to grow as well. I'm really excited to see how much I'll make with my first month on YouTube, but also I'm excited to see how much I'll be making a year from now if I continue to post consistently. Now obviously the personal finance niche is getting paid more than a lot of other niches and that's why my CPM and my RPM are so high. But if you plan to make videos in the finance niche, this is what you can expect when you're first starting out. Hopefully this video is educational and motivational in that it shows you how much you could potentially be making from YouTube if you started making your own YouTube videos. But if you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe because I will be sharing more stats about this in the coming months or years because this channel is all about clear transparency about how I'm making my money from my side hustles. And I guess technically YouTube does count as a side hustle now. Anyway, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys again for 2000 subscribers and I will see you all in the next next video.